it's all done. It's uh, it's all done. I'm back from tour. The final leg of the U.S. tour of I have to do this tour slash show uh, is all done, and it's uh, it's really weird. Like I don't I don't think it's hit me quite yet. But the thing that I worked on for like a year and a half almost through and through, it's all it's all done now. I I did it. <laughs> I, I did it again it, it hasn't really hit me yet and it's it's something that like I haven't really fully thought about that the that the show is done and that I, I that I did the thing I yeah I don't I don't really know what to what to say uh you know the tour and the show was something that like kind of happened um out of impulse like there was just one night where I was, I, I felt, like, inspired. I felt like I needed to be doing something a bit more. Um, and so I texted my buddy Justin. If you guys have seen the show, then you already know this story. But I texted my buddy Justin, and I was like, hey, I want to do a show. Like, I, I want to make this happen. Um, and I don't, I don't know what I want it to be be yet I don't know what I want to do but I have a name for it and it's called I have to do this show and then he came over and we talked about it a bit more and and he was like so you really want to do this right and I was like yep and so he picked up the phone and he booked the first show uh while we were drunk <laughs> um and then it it just happened and like if if I'm honest like I don't I don't even really remember like writing the show if I'm honest, like, I don't really remember where all the ideas came from. I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. The whole process is like kind of a, kind of a blur. Cause I wrote it. Um, and there's multiple drafts of it and everything, but I, I did it. Um, there was, there was a moment after the Vancouver show. So Vancouver was the last stop. Um, there was a moment after the Vancouver show where I was just kind of sitting on the balcony and I, I was just kind of taking it all in a bit. And there was just a moment where it was just like, all right, like, I did it. You know what? I I set out to make a show and do a tour, and I did it. And the tour is done now, which is real weird. And it's a little bit scary because it's just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now. I've, I feel really, really, really lucky to one be able to do this kind of thing at all to be able to do not only an entire tour but in a show at all um so thank you guys so much for those of you who came to the shows um thank you guys so much for being there it was so insane seeing the turnout for the tour like other than a couple of places um most of the shows were um were like pretty full like close to sold out if not sold out like we had a we had a handful of shows that were completely sold out the last i think four shows of the second leg were completely sold out which was so cool and just like a really nice feeling to have those those big rooms all all filled out um it was it was insane seeing how many people came to the shows because honestly i did not think that there were that many people that would care um you know doing one show is is one thing but doing an entire, we did 33 stops, um, doing an entire 33 leg tour and having almost every spot just like filled up. It was so crazy. It was so, so crazy. Um, so thank you guys so much for coming to the shows. I, I hope that you enjoyed them. Um, I hope you had a good time. Um, and for those of you who want to talk about it, cause I know that there's a lot of you who do, um, feel free to to let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, feel free. Don't worry about spoilers and stuff. Uh, for those of you watching who don't want spoilers of the show, just don't read the comments. <laughs> um, but I, I do want to hear what you guys have to say. I do want to hear what, what your thoughts were. Um, and then second off, um, I, I want to just give like my sincerest thank you to everybody who worked on the show. Like, yeah, it was my show, my idea, or whatever. Um, but from the beginning of me writing all the way to the end, uh, I wasn't the only one doing it. You know, there were so many people involved. Everybody 
over at Real Good Touring, uh, Justin, obviously, uh, Brent and Aaron and Ike and Jamie and Jules uh, and Stella and everybody over there that that helped flesh out the ideas and helped book all of the shows. Um, you know, because basically the process was I would once we once we started getting the ball rolling a bit, I would go and write a draft and then I would come in to a meeting with everybody and we just sort of like workshop it and we'd we'd figure out what what worked, what didn't. Uh, people would give me tips. Um, Ike and Jamie over at Real Good Touring helped me uh, <laughs> help me write it a bit more in a in a concise way, in a more digestible way because what I would do basically is <laughs> I'd write my my thought like how I would say it if I were speaking and then they help me get it down into a bit more of a concise thing because both of them are are very good writers and so they would help me like make it into a digestible thing because instead of just like a bunch of thoughts um so they really helped a ton with that um obviously everybody over there booked the entire tour they hired everybody for the tour they they figured out all the travel all the bus everything they made it Everyone at Real Good Touring and everyone a part of the crew made it so easy for me and made it so I could just focus on doing the shows and doing the shows the best that I could. I didn't have to worry about about anything else. Um, and then the crew were so incredible, like just some of the best people that I have ever met um, on on both legs because we had slightly different crews on the on the second leg. Um, but for both legs, everybody was fucking amazing and, like, so fun to hang out with. Everybody was so weird, which is my favorite thing. Like, everybody got along really well. Um, and it, it, it was just so nice because, like, yeah, we were all working hard and we were all, you know, exhausted at the end of the day. But it, it didn't feel like work. It felt like we were all we were all in it together and we, all, we were all having fun. Um, so... Huge, huge thank you to everybody at Real Good Touring. Huge thank you to um, to everybody a part of my a part of my tour family. So again, you know, Justin, Alessa, Matt, <laughs> nope, not Alexa, Sarah, Rick, Jocelyn, Pete, Zach, JT, Jay, Vin, the LD of the show. He made all the lights go rip, 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 rip. Big thank you to the drivers as well, Tim and Forrest. Big thank you to Rick's fiance Liz who <laughs> who came to multiple stops and gave us all tattoos. That's why I got this baby right here and so many people uh on, on the crew got a piss bottle. And I also got a little lobster. And I also got this one that says sweet boy. All done by Liz. Thank you Liz. But uh, like even adding on to what I just said like the fact that we could just like goof around and like the fact that Rick trusted me enough to give him a tattoo I think is a testament to like how well we all got along. Like it was so fucking fun. Um, and I feel so damn lucky that I got to spend the almost like three months of touring uh, with those people because by the end of it, it truly was like, like a little family. And like, I owe so much to everybody that was involved because again, like, yeah, I was up on stage, but without all of those people, nothing would have happened. You know, without without Sarah and Rick doing the VIP and the merch, like you guys wouldn't have been able to get any any stuff to remember the show by. Without Jocelyn, my assistant, helping me out every single day, like I wouldn't have just gotten like basic shit that I needed, like like eating. Like she would always make sure to get me food before the show, so I wasn't going out. Uh, up there, uh, you know, with an with an empty stomach, without Alessa and JT, the people, uh, the uh, AEG reps, you know, making sure that everything flowed nice and making sure the venues and everyone were all on the same page. Without 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 Matt and Jay, the tour managers, and they ran front of house, making sure I could hear things in my ears, making sure the mics worked, making sure all the crew was uh, was all on the same page. You know, without Vin doing the lights every single night like the the lighting was so important and so integral to the show and he fucking kicked ass like it wasn't just me up on stage with a spotlight on me there was there was a full production that was happening um and i i just feel so fucking lucky to have worked with the people that i worked with they were all so kind and so down to earth and so funny 
and so passionate and so talented and skilled at what they did. Like everybody was fucking killing it. And like, it, it was just amazing. It was, it was so much fun. Um, so to everyone at RDT, to everybody that was a part of the crew, um, I love you guys so much. Um, and, and I hope we get to do something again because, um, if we don't, I will be very sad, <laughs> but at the very least to all of my, to all of my crew who, uh, may or may not be watching, let me know the next time you're in LA because you always have a home, uh, and a place to stay and you got to come in and sit and say how to the doggies again. Um, it was, I know that I'm rambling and I know that I'm saying kind of the same stuff over and over again, but I just feel really lucky, um, to work with the people that I worked with and to be able to do this because without all of you guys watching, this wouldn't have happened. And it was so amazing seeing all of you guys at all of the shows. It was so amazing, you know, feeling the energy from each crowd. It was so cool seeing, seeing the differences between each crowd too, in each city. Um, it was, it was really, I don't know. It was, it was insane. And like, I think I talked about this a little bit, but when I toured um, with Mark, Bob, Wade, and Tyler for um, for Your Welcome, it was a really amazing experience, like something that I never thought that I would experience again. Um, but doing those shows, you know, there was there was an understanding that, like, even though the crowds were really big, not everybody was there for me. Not everybody was just there for Wade. Like, they were there for all of us. Um, and that's why I was a little worried doing a tour because I was like, well, not many people are just going to show up for just me. Um, but you guys did. And that was such a weird feeling of like, wow, everybody is here to support me and to see me and to see the thing that I made. And I know that that might seem like a little selfish, but it was, it was really amazing. And like, it was very validating knowing that the shit that I make matters to some of you. And I'm, I'm not trying to say that in like an arrogant way or anything. Um, but it, it just meant a lot that so many people came up to the shows to support me and to give me a shot. Um, and so I just, I just want to say thank you because that was really amazing. And again, I hope that you enjoyed the show. Um, I really, I, this is the first time in such a long time that I've made something one, the first time ever that I've made something of, like, this caliber. Um, but two, the first time that I've made something in a really long time that that I've done alone that I've felt really proud of and really fulfilled by and challenged by. Because I've been doing this for, for almost 10 years now. In August, that'll be 10 years uh, of me doing this. Um, and this is the first thing in a very long time that has been this fulfilling and this challenging and like this unique as far as things that I have made for myself, you know? Um, because yeah, inherently the shows are like kind of for you guys, you know, I want to give you guys a good show, but this was something that I put a lot of myself into. Um, and this was something that I feel like I really did make for me. Um, and so I just want to say thank you guys for, for supporting it. But now I'm back. You know, so videos will go back to regularly scheduled streams will come back. I'm not sure when I'll do my first stream, probably in the next couple of days. Um, if you don't know, I stream on Twitch. A lot of people for some reason didn't realize that. But yeah, videos will be will be coming back. Streams will be coming back. Um, oh, there's currently a bunch of old merch up on the store. If you feel like grabbing that, um, SCP, the, the merch company, they just had a bunch of extra stock that they kept for, like, in case people canceled orders and stuff like that. Um, so I think if you get any of the, like, older merch, I think it is final sale. Um, but there is, uh, it's all 10% off. Um, all of these, there's some old uh, Pride merch from last year. Um, all of that, uh, or some of that is still there. If you get any of the Pride merch proceeds, still go to, I think it was the Trevor Project that we did last year. Um, but I, I made sure to let them know to make sure that the proceeds from that, it's still 70% of those go to, I think it was the Trevor project, but that will all still be going to charity. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick up those, crankablist.com. But I, I, I feel really good to be back. Um, 
it, it's a little weird being back. It's like kind of weird waking up in my own bed every day. Uh, cause it's just like, oh, <laughs> I'm in the same spot that I was last night. I haven't moved. Um, but yeah, back from tour. I'm ready to get back into it. I'm really excited to get back into stuff. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. Let's get back into it. See you tomorrow.